Today, I'm gonna go over whether I will be using the Undersun or SunPal resistance loop bands for my home workouts alongside my resistance band bar and the step platform I am using. Let's jump right into this versus video. So the major difference right off the bat is the price, where the Undersun bands come in at around $70, but do include a door anchor, and the SunPal bands are around a $40 price as of shooting this video, but no door anchor is included. So if you bought like a $10 door anchor, we could say that the SunPal are more like $50 to the $70 of the Undersun bands. Also, the Undersun bands themselves were actually built more for home workouts, where the SunPal bands in the titling of the product on Amazon are actually pull-up assist bands. And this will actually be a big determinant on which one I choose because it does change the overall size of the band when doing workouts. So again, one was actually built specifically to use for your workouts, where the other one was more for assistance, body weight work, but can also be used, especially in my setup, for home workouts. And with that, let's jump into the pros of the Undersun bands to start. So the first one is that the material for the Undersun bands feels far superior to that of the SunPal. Now, I believe the Undersun bands are 100% latex, but are layered in a specific way according to the website to where if you were going to snap them, they would actually snap in layering. So it wouldn't full out just snap on you and break, especially with those bigger bands and get you injured. So that is one thing you always wanna look out for these is that they have some kind of protection in case they do snap on you. I've had bands not snap on me, but come out of door anchors as well as from under my feet and whip across my body and it is painful. So anything like that that I can avoid is a big plus for me. Also, these bands are quite a bit easier to fit in your hands. So this comes in when you're doing something like grabbing the band itself or looping it through your palms. They're not as wide as these Thumb pal bands are, meaning that they fit nicer in your hands even at the largest size. So those bigger bands do have a lot more resistance, but they're quite a bit easier to hold and do the exercises in this way versus the Sun pal bands. Not only that, but they also fit way better into my triangle links. Now the Sun pal bands, they kind of when you put them in, they're a little hard to get into the triangle links themselves. And then when they are in, they do kind of bend a little bit at the edges because they're just a bit too wide. Now I could buy bigger triangle links, but I'm really trying to avoid that instead stick with the ones I have. And the SunPal, or under some band, sorry, fit best in these triangle links as they just rest perfectly on the bottom of that triangle. Now this pro is where the Undersun really jumped up to one of my top spots for my bands. Early on, I had snapped the smallest, which is called the X small band. Um, right when using it, probably the first week I bought it doing overhead tricep extensions. That threw me off from using Undersun for quite some time, I put them away, but then I decided why not just call up support and get it uh, fixed or replaced. So I did that and they all they needed was a picture of the band itself, sent it to them and they easily replaced it to me and I got it within two days of making that request. So super fast turnaround time, very, very, very easy to use. They were very responsive and that is what I think every support team should be like for the bands. Now I have not snapped the Sun Power Resistance Bands at all, so I can't really say anything about support, but I actually can't even find a website for them online, which is a big kind of no-no for me. This tends to lead me towards a white label product that someone just snapped a new name on and then shipped it out, which I think happens very commonly, especially right now with those resistance bands and the tube style banding as well. So that's kind of a downer for me, whereas this is a US-based US company for the Undersun bands that I've really enjoyed working with their team and getting that band replaced. Moving on, another pro for the Undersun bands is that while using the platform and bar, some exercises can be tough to get into at the bottom if there's a lot of resistance. However, I found with the Undersun bands, they have just a little more give to get into other exercises, something like the front squat, where you have to get really low into a squat position to get it up in front of you and then stand up into that beginning of the squat. So something like that is a big thing when it comes to using resistance bands and especially this bar setup. And I found this to be quite a bit easier to do with Undersun versus the Sun Pal bands. Also, all the bands provide a good amount of resistance. The heaviest one is good for me just starting out with something like deadlifts. I've actually been able to add on more bands, so I think I'm up to something like the X heavy and then the medium style band for something like the deadlifts as well as the squ front squats right now. Um, but I've been able to move myself up over time a little bit. 
from using them in just the last, I say like two-ish weeks um, of actually testing them out a bit more after using the SunPal bands and seeing what I could do with those. So it's been really good using the Undersun and testing them and seeing which one of these bands I wanna be using moving forward. But just know you do get a lot of resistance, even though the bands are kind of smaller, you do get a good amount of resistance with just the five bands that the Undersun bands give you. And then my last pro is that this is a USA based company as mentioned before, which is a huge plus to me. I love supporting the USA based companies as I do live in the US myself. So having that alongside that support team that is missing with SunPal are some big pluses going for them in this versus video. So the pros are out of the way for Undersun. Let's jump into that cons list for the Undersun resistance bands. And the first con compared to the SunPal bands is the price. Now, $70 with the door stopper is actually a pretty decent price compared to many of the other loop style bands that are out there right now. So I can't really knock it too much. And with the quality of the band that you are getting, in my opinion, this is probably right around the price it should be. So even though the SunPal bands are cheaper, I would say that this is a good price for the Undersun bands, even though, again, they are, I'd say with a door stopper, about $20 more, maybe 30-ish at the highest. And the only other con I have for them is that they are not color coded in any way. So when you get to those bands that are close to the same size, you might pick the wrong one for your workout. So if you're tracking workouts, especially and you know which bands you need to pick, that can be a problem as you might pick the wrong one uh, initially and then have to switch out. So they do have the name of the band. So they have something from like X small to small, medium, heavy, and then X heavy. So I think those are the five that you get. They do write that on the bands themselves, but just know you do actually have to look them up on the band and then put it on. It, does it doesn't take that long really, but it is something where color coding would make it quite a bit quicker to just see it and put it on and you're ready to go. All right, now let's jump into my pros list for the SunPal resistance bands. And the number one pro in this case, and it's a pretty obvious one, that would be the price. Starting off at $40, it's pretty much impossible even on Amazon to find five quality loop style bands um, that you can use for $40 in price. You just really can't beat that. I've looked very hard to find many others. There could be, again, other ones out there, but at least on Amazon, that's about as good as it gets on this, especially for the rating that Amazon has for it and the quality of the bands overall that you receive. And my other pro for this product is that it is color coded. So unlike Undersun, which are all orange bands, or if you get the new ones, there's like a new army style one that has like the army uh, camouflage style, but I just have the orange ones, which are the standard. But with somehow you do get the rainbow coloring band. So this one does have all different colors, making picking the one you need very easy, especially if you're tracking your workouts while using these SunPal bands. So those are the only pros I have, unfortunately. So let's take a look at the cons list for the SunPal bands. So my first con is that some of the positioning when using the bar, which I mentioned before with the Undersun, are actually pretty difficult to do with the SunPal bands. I think the main reason for this is that, again, these are pull-up assistance bands. So when you get to those really heavy bands, they're quite a bit tighter overall to get into and don't have as much uh, give to them when setting up something like a front squat. So for me, you're getting into that low position, but you already start out with a lot of resistance to begin with trying to stand up versus the undersound, which allow you to get a little higher into the pushing movement of that front squat to stand up straight. So when you're at the lowest position, you do have probably the most room for injury. And that's where these bands don't hold up quite as well as Undersun, in my opinion. Even adding in more bands for the Undersun, you still get a little more give than you do when you use the SunPal bands. My next con is that with the bigger bands, especially that heaviest band that you get, which is a purple band, um, when you hold it, it's just too wide to really hold very well. It's not really the thickness of the band, it's more the width of the band that they give you. So I'm gonna compare these side by side, but this uh, SunPal versus Undersun, there is a clear difference in the width of the band. So when I hold the heaviest of the Undersun band, it is quite a bit better than holding the uh, SunPal band at its heaviest. So just know that is why I prefer Undersun in this way because I can actually hold it quite a bit better. But again, this the Undersun were actually built for regular workouts where again, I believe the SunPal were more built for assistance based work. I'm just trying to move into something that's really not, so I can't really knock it that much for it, but in this little versus competition, that does give it the con side of things versus the Undersun bands. My next con is that the largest of the SunPal bands is just a little bit too wide 
for my triangle links. Now I do have, I believe, three eighths inch triangle links um, from amazon.com that I use with my resistance bands bar setup. So I just hook them on the ends and then you can put the loop bands into them to use for your workouts. Works great. You can still put the bands in these triangle links, but they do bend a little bit on the sides where the undersum bands fit it perfectly flat in them. Um, so it really depends if you don't care that much for this. When you stretch it out, it actually goes all the way down and it falls off the side of the triangle. But when you're initially getting them in, it can be a little funkier to get them on right away. But honestly, it's a very, very minor con and one I don't really notice that much, but I just wanted to mention it in this video. Now, one of the biggest cons for me is that I don't see any kind of support or website specific to the SunPow bands, which leads me to believe that these were just white label products slapped on with the name of SunPow and then they were good to go. These could even be the wad fitters bands, which I've used in the past as they are basically the exact same thing as those bands. I think the coloring might be a little different from those, but they are essentially the exact same thing, but I guess quite a bit cheaper in this case too. So those are always things I look out for and not having some kind of support team where I could do something like exchange or replace a band when I need to is pretty annoying. Um, so just know it wouldn't be as easy to reach out to support without the website. You might be able to use the little documents they give you in the box that the SunPal bands come with, but just know it's not as readily available for you to reach out or view any other products that the company might have through some type of website. It's all through Amazon from what I could tell in my research. And my last con is that the quality of the latex used for these bands doesn't seem as high as the undersun. Some things I noticed is that it's just a quite a bit shinier and I think just for me, it rubs me the wrong way when I get those really shiny bands. It just feels like it's a lower quality. Even if it might not be, it's just a bias I have. So I'm just gonna mention that right now. Something that I look for, just I don't like that super shininess of the bands that it comes with. You might not care as much, but just something for me. But the feel is where it, this comes in. The SunPal bands versus the Undersun bands. The feel of them is quite a bit different. You can feel the higher quality in the Undersun bands. I really would have to give them to you so you could actually look and compare them. But for me, when I feel them and look at them, you can instantly tell which one has a higher quality band. And I definitely have to go with the Undersun here. Now, I'm not knocking the SunPal bands at all as I have not snapped them like the SunPal or else sorry, like the Undersun bands in the beginning. But the SunPal bands overall just have that weird texture to them that just doesn't come off the same way as the better, stronger bands of the Undersun. So just watch out for the Undersun really small band as it is not nearly as thick as the smallest of the SunPal bands that you don't snap it. But other than that, no other bands have snapped for me. I only had to replace one. And it does again feel like the quality of the Undersun bands is better even if I did snap one of the smaller bands. So what is my verdict? Should I go with the Undersun bands or the SunPow resistance loop bands? So for me, this was a pretty easy one in the end looking at the pros and cons, but I have to go with the Undersun bands and here is the main reasons why. So of course, the Undersun bands were built for actual workouts and I think that gives them a huge plus here in how they were built because they're easier on the hands when you're using them, just gripping them normally. They also fit into those triangle links very, very, very well, and the material overall is far better. So to me, that uh, makes it so the price that I purchased for falls right in line with what I think it should, and they give you the door stopper, which in itself just adds on to the value overall to meet that $70 target. I would pay for these instantly again if I ever decide to buy another one to kind of combine even more bands. I would definitely be going with Undersun overall. They have great support. Love the CEO of the company. He has a lot of stuff online, James Grage. I think that's how you say his name. A very, very down to earth guy from what I can tell and really wants to help people. So overall, I really do like the company and they will be the bands I will be going with uh, from this point forward unless something else that I test in the future decides to knock them off their pedestal. The only improvement I would like to see is some kind of visual indicator uh, for each one of the bands. I know they're all orange, which makes it annoying for those middle bands when you're picking them to pick the right one. So if they could do some kind of maybe shading of the bands to be a different shade of orange or some kind of uh, color dot or something, I don't know, on the bands themselves, just so I could quickly identify them, that would be helpful in terms of me tracking my workouts. But other than that, I think these are perfect for what I'm looking for in my online workouts. So Undersun started as one of my least favorite bands when my band snapped about a week into training to my top company that I use for my home workout. So a huge flip-flop from when first using them to now. 
Um, make sure you check them out. Look at all of James's videos for the Under Sun Bands online. Gives a lot of great information. Uh, he also has his TA2 build program. Um, I'm not actually sponsored by them in any way. I do have affiliate links to their products. If you decide to purchase them, they do go back and help me make videos for this channel. So I'd love it if you go ahead and use those links to order only if you're interested in buying these. Um, I'll, I'll also add a link to the Sun Pal Bands below. But personally, as I've seen this video right now, I will be using the Under Sun Bands moving forward. They will be on the website, but I'll continue to buy other products to compare against this and see if anything is better than it. Um, as I try to find the best home workout equipment that I can relate to you to for you to get in the best shape of your life from home. And with that, that is the end of my Undersun versus Sun Pal resistance loop bands video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you haven't already, please head over to GamerBuy.com. There you can check out my personal home workout program, which has these resistance bands in it. Also, all the equipment I currently own and use, I have right now are resistance bands, body weight, and dumbbells all up on the site for what I currently own, and all the information and resources I am learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. Again, like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.